dog culture really, really stinks. I've thought and thought about this. It, this has nothing to do with religion or growing up in, uh, in a dog culture and being bitten or I've never been bitten. Well, actually, I take that back. I was bitten once. But um, you know what? I've grown out of dogs. Like dogs are something that you only like when you don't know any better, like when you don't really do your research. Not only because of all the zoological issues, which is actually zoo. Now, I I have my own word, but it's zoonotic is the proper pronunciation, I guess. I don't know. But, you know, when you really think about all the zoonotic issues with not just parasites, but different viruses and diseases that these animals have that they harbor, not only in their fur, but in their whole system, let's just say it. When you really do your research and you realize that it doesn't matter how many times you clean the damn thing, it's just, that's just, it's, it's biofilm, let's just call it. it. It's biofilm is a disease. It's basically a dog is a man-made creature mutant, deformed creature that cannot even really, not really live on its own because it was manipulated, genetically manipulated by humans. It's not a natural part of the ecosystem. And not only is it not a natural part, it's actually a very, very hazardous, toxic part of the ecosystem. They pollute our lawns, they pollute our streets, our runoff, our water runoff is all polluted. Everything is stench, stink, rotten to the core, dog culture. And people have normalized this somehow in their brains and they've become, uh, I would say, actually psychotic or crazy because people think for some reason, I don't know why, because dogs are not humans, okay? We share nothing in common. For some reason, humans tend to think that when they see the dog wagging its tail, they think it's happy. But that's a human emotion that only comes from the frontal cortex of the brain. Dogs have no frontal cortex. That's why they have no foreheads. It goes flat back. They're missing that part, that part that makes humans human, which is happiness, feeling empathy, you know, feeling the different things that humans can only feel. Dogs do not feel that. They do not have that part of their brain. It is physiologically impossible. What the dog is doing when it's wagging, it's showing its submission. It's just being submissive. It's just a reaction. Oh, I'm submissive. It has nothing to do with happiness. You know, and I'm not, I know that there's nothing I can possibly say to convince anyone what they want to believe or think. It's, it's not going to change. Just like religion, if you believe something, it's going it, to, you're never going to stop believing that because it's a belief. It doesn't have to be proven. It doesn't have to be disproven. It's just something that people are going to believe. And I just like to say that if we are ever to evolve out of more than just crazy virus filled environments full of disease and chaos, if we ever to evolve out of the dark ages that we're now in into this, these other beliefs that dogs cause people to have these psychotic beliefs, if we are ever to evolve out of the dark ages that we are in, I think we would drop dog culture and grow up and grow out of it and get rid of all these diseases that we have in our environment. Yeah, do your own damn research. It's true. Take care.